Hi everybody, this is Spirit Guide. Uh, how's everybody doing? How's your 24 hours going? Okay, mine are going great, great. So um, again, if you like what you see, and um, a lot of you do, thank you for the likes I'm getting. Again, we're a very new channel. It's about a month and a half or a month and two weeks actually. And we're growing and I love it. And welcome to all my new subbies. Um, I, that's something I feel I can never say enough because uh, people who subscribe to my channel are people that have found it, watched it probably multiple times and decided that they want to be part of the community. So I absolutely love, love, love that. And I love the viewers as well. I love my viewers, people who are viewing my videos multiple times. Um, I just, I, I just wish that, you know, you feel comfortable put in the comment section what resonated with you. You know, we love, uh, tarot readers love confirmation, okay, or oracle readers or uh, those in the spiritual community. We love confirmation. Either we get confirmation from spirit world, from your past on loved ones. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not a medium, right? So I can't um, tell you, I can't hear people who have passed over, right? That's the coolest thing ever. I wish I could, you know, like Tyler Henry can do that. He can hear. I can't hear, right? So I'm not clairaudient right? That's the, that's the ear audience. Um, but I can see, uh, loved ones that have passed away. Um, sometimes I think they think I can hear them. Um, so I just look at them and I just shake my head and like, I can't hear you, you know, that kind of thing. But I do see them. Um, and I can, I can sense, uh, spirits. I can sense, which is a new, uh, I don't think it's a new gift. I would give it credit for the past 10 years. I can walk into an apartment or a house or any kind of dwelling that has been up for longer than six months and I can pick up the energy and the impression of who was there before me. It's very interesting. Uh, sometimes it's negative because sometimes, you know, unfortunately there's like domestic violence situations and things that get picked up on that are very negative. But again, I, I usually at those times, that's why I stopped house hunting for a while. I'm so glad there's a virtual house house hunting um, because for me, someone who has gifts um, to walk into a house that has gone through, you know, crime or has gone through failed uh, births like miscarriages or has gone through anything negative. Um, as soon as I'm about to enter the house or I'm at the door of the house, it's like, it's almost like a vortex is created, like a, like, like, a like the door, it pushes back and I'm like, uh Oh, there was a problem here, you know? And, and I, and I actually had that when I was, um, I stopped looking for houses in 2021, um, because of these experiences I was having the last house I walked into story time. Um, the last house I walked into, it just, it, it just felt heavy. It felt heavy. And I was like, oh my gosh. And my realtor, <laughs> bless her heart. She was just like looking at me like, here we go. I was like, stop. It just feels he heavy in here. And I was like, what do you know about the house? And she was like, nothing. It's just, you know, it's for sale. I was like, where's the previous owners? And she was like, I don't know. And I was like, can you find out? She's like, absolutely. And I told her before she found out, I was like, they're dead. The previous owners are not alive. They didn't, they died in the house. That I know. I know they died in the house. I said, but they didn't die from horrific problems. They died from natural causes. They were older people. They died from natural causes. I was like, the man died in the basement. He died of a heart attack. And the woman died up in the bedroom a year after he died. And she was a little traumatic because she was trying to get out and she couldn't get out the house. She couldn't make it down the stairs. Um, so she winded up having, uh, um, she had a stroke first, which nobody caught it. And then she had died of a heart attack herself. So hers was a little sad because she was showing me she wasn't ready to go. She wasn't ready. So, whew, cleansing breath. Um, even remembering that story was difficult. Um, so I stopped going in person to see houses and I'm actually looking for houses that are, um, newly built at this point. Um, because those energies, I'm a sensitive person, I'm an empath. That energy doesn't leave. Even telling you the story, it took up a lot of energy for me to do that. All right, so what I'm going to do now in that little story time I gave you is about transfer of energy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull from the deck. And I'm not, you saw me do the little split, you know, thing. 
Um, I am not going to um, shuffle. I'm just going to pull. Okay. So think about a question. Think about something you want to ask. Think about something. This is my first time doing this game. Not It's not a game. But I do think of it as a game. <laughs> doing this on YouTube. Um, this is something I do in my in my in-person personals. Uh, this is something I do. So it's, it's like an icebreaker because people are very nervous when they meet you in person and they don't know what you can see. They don't, they don't know, you know, and even if they're, they had readings before they're skeptical on readers because readers have their own energy, right? So we're going to try to see if it works on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> All right. So think of a question, think of something uh, to yourself, think of a content, think of a situation that you would like to have focused on. Okay, so let's pull. Let's see what is on your mind. High Priestess of Earth, okay? So there's a challenge. There's something, whatever question you answer, you asked, there's a challenge that was presented to you. High Priestess of Earth is the High Priestess that is going to give you the answers. So whatever question you ask, the answer is here. She's got the answer. Um, I would say intuitively, this means for your question that you don't, don't seek around for the answer. The answer is in front of you. Um, your environment could be giving you the answer when people speak to you with this card, because she presents, she's coming to you with facts. She's coming to you with the answer. That's what her energy represents. I would say, um, it's also probably asking you to watch and listen to when people speak to you because people are speaking words to you for a reason. They're not just having conversation with you. So just pay attention to when people speak to you. Even people you don't know, message is coming to you, but it's not coming from someone you know. It's coming from someone you don't know, okay? So whatever that answer is, High Priestess of Earth has given it to you just in a different way, okay? All right, let's pull the next one. Take a moment to ask yourself a question. And the answer is coming soon. Intuitively, it's coming. If you haven't gotten the answer already, it's coming soon. It's going to come out in a way like, I, I'm getting a child is going to give you the answer. Like for some reason, I'm seeing a young energy here. Um, child meaning like between the ages of two, like speaking, you know, two to like five, right? They're going to give you, that person has the answer for you. They're going to say something to you. It's going to be like, you know, because at that age, children are wonderful because they, they really are beings of the light, right? So they, they have been there. They have their own spiritual and intuitive powers that they bring with them. And they don't start losing that till about the age of 10. 10 years old, for some reason, is the age where if the gift is not going to last with that person, it goes away. Okay, so the child or the younger person, if you're only calling kids ch children, um, the younger person that's going to come to you, they're going to come to you and it's going to, they're going to just have a conversation with you and it's going to come out of nowhere. I'm getting, it's coming out of nowhere. It doesn't make any sense. The conversation is going to start with you. Listen to them because they're being guided to tell you something and they don't, they don't know why they're saying these things. They're just going to say them. Okay, so be be obedient to that, okay? <laughs> All right, the next one is the moon. The moon. So remember the moon is intuition in this deck, right? The moon is intuition. So again, that goes with the high priestess of earth. Someone is coming to talk to you as a child. They're going to give you the answer. Use your intuition in getting the answer from them. Use your intuition. Um, it doesn't mean every child that comes to you or every young person that is five years old that comes to you is going to have the answer. Not, a, not at all. But it does mean that intuitively listen to the child with your ears, but listen also with your third eye. 
They're saying something to you for a reason. And this is not going to be a one conversation. This is going to be multiple conversations, multiple conversations. Okay. All right. So intuition, follow your intuition, follow what your, your eye, your third eye is telling you. Okay. It's not going to lead you wrong. Just follow it. All right. One more, one more question. Okay. We've had these cards before. <laughs> Rigid, right? Rigid, um, of course, is um, you're very guarded. Um, the answer to the question you asked is guard, protection, um, routine, right? Routine. Uh, let me clarify that a little bit more because I'm getting mixed um, messages with that one. Intuitively, I'm getting you have protection in place for yourself and you're not going to stray from it. But intuitively, I'm getting that you need to stray from it. So let's see. Okay. Right. So it's intuitively is agreeing with me. It says now is the time to become more flexible and drop your rigid expectations of yourself and especially of others, don't be afraid to drop your guard a little, right? So remember I said, you need to drop this guard and you need to be more, um, to be less routine and rigid, okay? Um, don't take it personally. If people don't let you in, this is their way of coping and it has little to do with you, all right? So if you look at these three together, remember these are three random cards that were pulled. You asked a question for each of these. Hopefully each of these answered the question for you. But if you look at, to, look at them together as a story, there's someone that's going to come to you with information. It's a child between the ages of two and five, we said. And they're going to start having conversations with you out the blue about this, uh, just, just about life. They're going to start just talking to you like, oh, today in school, you know, I played... Legos for an hour or, you know, whatever. Um, listen to what they're saying because I'm getting that whatever they're saying, whatever question you ask has something to do intuitively. I'm getting with like business finance and, and forward moving ideas. They're going to have that idea when they talk to you, like about their Legos or something, you know what I'm saying? It's something like that. So it doesn't have to be Legos. It doesn't have to be business, but listen in context to what that child is saying. Uh, use your intuition. The second question, whatever you ask, use your intuition. That's the moon. Use your intuition and let it guide you to your answer. That was for your second question. As a story, use your intuition when this child comes to you. When they come to you, listen to them. And I know we just like to sometimes shoot children. Like we listen and then they just take a long time to tell a story, kind of like spirit guide. <laughs> But, um, you know, just listen to them. They, they're getting to a point. They have a lot to talk about, okay? All right, and then the last one for your last question is rigid, right? Um, it's urging you, this card is urging you not to be rigid, drop your boundaries, drop your protection so that you can be more focused in life and make more friends and be more social. If you look at it in the storyline, when the child comes to you, use your intuition about what they're saying and also don't discount what they're saying, right? That's your protection, your walls, tear them down. Don't discount what the child is saying to you because that is the answer to the questions you've asked. They have the answer, okay? All right, I'm gonna pull one Moonology. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna pull a Divine Beloved, okay? And let's see what happens there. Poor shuffle. Let's see what happens there. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this little uh, intuitive demonstration slash game. <laughs> um, but this is exactly what would happen um, when I start opening up my personals on YouTube um, to start accepting people to do them. This is exactly what you would get and more. Um, I do a lot of different things to make the client or the person I'm reading very comfortable in order for me 
to see and get into their energy and see what I can tell them, what, what guidance I can give them, okay? All right. And the last card is grace, okay? Beautiful, grace. We we're just talking about rigid, dropping a wall, being open. Give somebody grace. Give the child that's talking to you, give them some grace, right? Or give anybody grace at this point. Um, but really listen. I'm being urged to tell you to listen to this child. And I don't know who this kid is, but listen. Listen to him, okay? All right, thank you so much. And I had a wonderful, wonderful read with you. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye. Enjoy your 24 hours. Don't forget, hit the like button if you like this. And thank you so much for watching either way. Um, if you liked it or you didn't like it, thank you for watching throughout the whole video. We're at 15 minutes and 49 seconds. Okay. This is just a quick check-in, a quick way to kind of shake it up a little bit, have some fun. Um, and if you love it and you hit the like and you want to subscribe, I'm here for you to subscribe. Okay. Um, Monday, I'm going to probably do a, um, a chat with me again. Um, you know, people seem to like that. So I'm going to do that again where I'll have a video uploaded. It's not going to be this one. It'll be another video uploaded and, um, I will be at the premiere. Um, my chat with me tend to have premieres before them, right? So you'll know what that is. All right. Thank you. Have a beautiful, beautiful 24 hours. Bye-bye.